Heyo, Thalion here, and welcome back to Final Fantasy X HD. And I gotta admit, like, me saying Final Fantasy X HD, it actually is, like, really fun, because it's like, ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. it's like a machine gun of words. But we are going on, and we are climbing the end of Mount Gagazet and descending down into Xanarkand. We are going down into the Hell of Summoners. Uh, I don't know if it would actually be the Hell of Summoners, but God, it's so big! It, this must be such a surreal moment for Titus to see what he would consider to be his home, what it would be like after it was completely destroyed and ruined for a thousand years. Also, there's a lot of dust here. Like, I know I expected that, but isn't Xanarkin on the water? Or is that just Titus' Xanarkin? Is the real Xanarkin on the water? I don't know. Oh, ooh. Ooh, it's so pretty. Oh, are those all pyreflies? Or is it something else? And here we are. We're at the first scene of the game. Where Titus begins his narration. So up until this point, narrator Titus has been able to tell us sort of everything and hinted everything. But now, now with all these doubts in his mind, we're, we're caught up with narrator Titus. We're here. We're at Xanarkand. Oh man, it's so, the scene means so much, so many different things now. Like, the way that, the way that everybody looks, how down, downtrodden they look. And this, this where he comforts Yuna, where he puts his hand on her shoulder, it means something completely different now. Like, we know what that look that Yuna gives him means. And it's so, so interesting to catch up with this after everything that we've seen. It's so sombering. Also, where's everybody else's weapons? They have no Waka Titus's and Yuna's, but nobody else's weapons are over there. Whatever. It's iconic, so I guess we can't really complain about it. God, I can't imagine what's going through his mind. Actually, I can. He's about to talk about it, but that's not the point. That meant, like, looking at Xanarkin. That's not the point. He's going to talk about it. I know. Shut up. <laughs> oh, man. And this song is so good. To Xanarkand. Listen to my story. It's not your story, Dita. This may be our last chance. You know, when he says, listen to my story, I mean, he's clearly just thinking to himself. He's not telling it to anyone else. But is he just speaking it to this dead city? Like, in his mind, is he just talking to what's what's left of Xanarkand? And how many stories hey, have been considered? More, right? I mean, like that time... Uh, anyone? What? I think... Yes? I think that we should stop. Maybe. Wait, what? Now. What? Oh, was he talking to them? Oh, well, that's a lot less dramatic. He was, he was like recounting the story to them. Oh, well, my mistake. I apologize. I thought him talking to the dead city of Xanarkand was much more poetic, Let's asking go. it to listen to his story as he came here. But whatever, you know what? Their way is cool too. I'm okay with that, <laughs> whatever. Titus can talk to who he wants to talk about. Or was he, or was, was she saying that, you know, it had to be that he was talking, because he's like, was there anything else? That's so weird. It's just, I liked my version better. <laughs> but whatever, it's all fine. I guess we're going to just continue on into, uh, oh man, into the city. And it's so pretty. Like, look at that. It's like the moon flow is above us in the sky. And I love how the battle music doesn't even appear. Like, it just keeps the, just the sweet, sad music. And the backgrounds are beautiful. Also, Yuna, you're a fucking boss. Oh, man. Please don't kill me during this moment, Ocho. Or Ochu, not Ocho. Um, let me go ahead and frogger it. And then we'll capture it. This is so good. 
I learned a new overdrive. Oh, no, I didn't mean to attack with... Oh, well, good job critting, Yuna. 10 out of 10. I'm really proud. Mantragora, not an Ochu. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. But... Oh... There's so many... Apparently, the enemies start to get really uh, more difficult around here, if I recall correctly. Oh, there's a chest. But look at how beautiful it is, and then just the atmosphere of having... Oh, the atmosphere of having the music behind us. It's so good. How many steaks you think we can get out of these? How many steaks? Waka, your mind is on food, and I like that. I'm gonna just drop another Faragra on it. Most of these things don't have, like, decent, uh, like, weaknesses. Like, I think the Ocho had, like, or the, o the Mandragora, excuse me, had, like, a fire weakness, probably. But I don't think this... Hey, he's immune to dark. That's not good. Don't you Thundara, my girl. Oh, I knew you were gonna go for Yuna, you dick. <laughs> Okay, well, you're gonna die. You're gonna die. You're gonna die for that. Yep, this should kill him, I think. Or maybe not. He might survive. Oh, nope. Overkill. Just, you're gone. You're done. You're outie. Goodbye. Okay. So. <laughs> and I know these ruins are just so neat. Like, look. Look at how far we have to go. Is it the stadium over there? Oh, now that must hurt for Titus, because that thing used to be so full of life. Far plane. Close enough. Yeah, for real. Many dead people here. So, oh, are these pyroflies all generated by the resident, like, souls of uh, Xanarkin? Like, the the people that died in Xanarkin during the Machina War, is that what created all these pyroflies here? Or is this, like, are these, like, pyroflies from dead summoners? that have met the, their end here. It's gonna be another Mandragora, but I'll go ahead and kill it. It's so interesting, just this idea that it, this is so similar to the Far Plane, a place of death and destruction, and this this is supposed to be where Spira's hope is born, in this place where there's nothing but death and ruin. This is where Spira's supposed to get its hope? That doesn't make sense. Also, I hit it with Yuna again like a derp. <laughs> Mandragora captured, whatever, let's, get, let's continue. This is gonna be fun. Okay, there should be a chest. Yeah, there's a chest right here. Let me open it up. Uh, oh, spiritual target. I wonder what that does. I don't know. I'll look into it later. It doesn't matter right now. We have to press on to the heart of Xanarkand. Oh, and it's so ruined because, you know, you see this broken road, and it reminds me very much of the broken road that Titus and Orin are running across at the beginning of the game, and, oh, uh, here we are. We're at it. We're at the Blitzball Stadium. I'm pretty sure this is the Blitzball Stadium, right? It looks like it. It reminds me of it. Um, does this, does the save file give any idea, any indicator? Yeah, dome, we're at the Blitzball Dome. And so Titus started this journey in a Blitzball Dome, and now it's where it's going to end. Road. Name yourself. I am the summoner Yuna. I have come from the island of Besaid. Your eyes, my dear, show me the long road you have traveled. That's such a weird request. Very good. She's like, are you ready to die? Are you prepared? Will surely welcome your arrival. Thanks, creepy old dude. Appreciate it. And bring your guardians with you. Go. Okay, thanks. I appreciate that. That's real nice of you. Bye. Oh, God. Battles begin. I'm going to turn back on encounters. Now that I ever turned them off, I don't know what you're talking about. But let's go in here. And I believe there's like Machina and everything in here that I really want to kind of fight with. Ooh, why, why don't they just, you know, everybody has to come by here. Oh, ghosts. If it might benefit the future of Spira, I will gladly give my life. It is the highest honor for which a guardian might ask. Why is... My life, Lady Yoken, and rid Spira of sin. It's interesting that the guardian is requesting that of the summoner. It's a ghost, Riku. Get used to it. Our predecessors. Ghosty goose. All over the place. She said Lady Yoken. Didn't she? Wait, she guarded High Summoner Yoken? Apparently. This dome is filled with fireflies. It's like one gigantic sphere. Oh, and man. His thoughts remain here forever. That's creepy. That's very creepy. But it's like one giant sphere. It's like this container of memories of those who have given their lives for Spira, which isn't near as romantic as it sounds. It's, it's basically just like playing back the, the their graves, the ends of their lives. Oh, hello, Defender X, Defender Z. Okay, well, fine, I see how it's gonna be. I was gonna say, though, there's like, this stadium is in like serious ruin, 
they need to like build a road here like i know nobody really comes over here all that much with regards to oh they nobody comes over here except high like high summoners and their guardians but seriously would it hurt the spear and government to install a road to simplify this journey like do they have to be crawling all over rubble and everything like i don't know maybe i'm just worried too much i just want to really streamline this whole summoner thing considering they need to in order to you know survive I'm gonna heal Horn real quick. I just think it would be efficient if they did, you know, but nobody listens to me. I'm an outsider, and I mean, it doesn't matter if I want to poke fun at their little government religion and everything. No, 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 they want to kill me. Throw me in, throw me into the uh, prison and lock away the key, even though it has an exit, because as Avon mentioned in the comments, they got to clean out the body somehow, which is a good enough answer for me, as much as I was complaining about it. Okay, now that it has mental break, we should be able to knock this guy out. Oh boy. Oh, I forgot. In the in the dome here, enemies take 10 years to kill. Like, they, they do not go down quick. It takes them a while. Like, that was just one random encounter. Jeez. Like, oh, they, they have a lot of experience, though. I'm not rotating everybody right now, because I can do that later. To be honest, I'm not, I haven't been, like, allocating any of my... No, we're done. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. I... No. I haven't been rotating anybody, and I haven't even allocated, like, their sphere points. Like, look, there's people who have a bunch of sphere levels that, uh, that I could be given away, but I'm not gonna, because I already feel like I'm overpowered. You know what? I don't want to deal with this anymore. We're not gonna do this anymore. Nope, nope, nope. I want to continue on with the story. I want to go through more of Xander. Where the, Do I go down? Oh, no, I, this is an upper path. Okay. And I can hit this chest. Booyah. Gotta get all the items. 10,000 gil. Jeez, that's quite a bit. You know, and I'm, this is not, like, the direct end of the game. We still have a bit of it left. But I always found it funny when um, boss monsters at the ends of games... Like, you know how RPGs are really famed for having a bunch of boss chains and everything? I was always found it funny when boss monsters in, like, the final boss chain would give you gill and you're like... Or give you money. You're like, how can I use this? No! Mother, no! I don't want you to become a fame! Oh, little... No other way. Guess who that is, guys? That's a pretty big burden. Oh. I don't have much time left. So she wanted to become a faith. Seymour? Yeah, man, it's little baby Seymour. So his mother went off and became a faith, according to what she was saying, so that he could defeat sin and so that the people could accept him. I'm going to say because he was a half guado, and that's the best thing I could think of. Because he was an anomaly in the guado society. Wait, what was that? What was that? That was a weird thing. What happened? Uh, oh. Hey, Braska, oh. You don't have to do this. It's them. For your concern. Their predecessors. Fine. I said my piece. Oh, well, that's it. That's it. Nothing else. Hey, Braska, let us go back. I don't want to see you die. Oh, this must be rough for Orin. This was to happen, my friend. Yes, but I. I cannot accept it. Oh, seeing Orin so young and honestly a bit helpless. Uh, Kill grief itself. Fucking Brask is a badass. And lift the veil of sorrow covering Spira. Please understand, Orin. Uh see it's weird because Orin now is more like how Jekt was. Um more willing to accept the sacrifice, if that makes sense. Like, I, I don't think Jek wanted Braska to die by any means, but Orin, um oh I should actually do things. I was just sort of fiddling around with it with my controller with one hand. But Orin's like young and impulsive at this point, and he wants he wanted Braska to look he, he was like Titus. He wanted to look for another way, and it's just ah uh. Or I don't know, he might not have wanted to look for another way, but he didn't want Braska to give his life, just like Tina Titus doesn't want Unity to give hers. It's so surreal to see them running in front of us. They're running ahead. We're going in their footsteps, and that's so cool. Oh, it's so cool. Are the trials ahead? Oh yeah. We gotta, we gotta get it. Here too, huh? Give me a break. Oh, okay. So like cloister of the, uh, cloister of trials. You know, parades and fireworks. Did you see this city, man? You can ask for them after I defeat sin. That's kind of a cold line, Braska. Jeez, that's not nice. Okay, so we got the cloister of trials ahead of us, and. Uh, 
I hope I don't screw up this choice cloister of trials because I know it's not difficult, but I might be an idiot. Look, if I'm an idiot, don't blame me, okay? That's all I have to say. Here we go. It's a relatively simple puzzle, and it's actually super techy, which is really neat because it highlights the Machina and how at the core of Spira's hope and Spira's society, there's all this technology that's also forbidden. It's really interesting. Okay, so we, we step on the pedestals. It makes the shapes and the colors. So wait, I don't need this. I don't need that. Yeah, I don't need the white one. I need, um, I only need, it's a memory game. I only need to fill out the ones that, uh, that do the thing. I believe this does a green. No. Okay, that's right. And then this will do the green thing, right? No, okay. I'm crazy. I don't know. I think you just have to memorize them to figure out which ones do what. And then red. Damn it. No, it's a stupid square. Okay, so I know which ones are going to do what now. Well, well, I can test which ones are going to do what. Uh, yeah. There we go. Booyah. Which one was the white square? I don't remember. No, wait. Is that wrong? Yeah, that's wrong. I wish you could see it on the ground, which ones they were going to be. It's a, it's a memory game, and I'm bad at memory games, okay? I'm not great at them. So, this one. And then, does that mean the middle one's the second red one? That wouldn't surprise me. No, what? Hmm. Oh, this one was the, uh, this one was the, uh, was the other one. I'm, uh, I need to pay more attention to actually memorizing these things. Oh, God, which one was it? Was it this one? Yeah, there we go. And then, if I go on over here, this will be the yellow and then bada bing, bada boom. Simple puzzle. Real simple. I just couldn't remember what I was doing. Yeah, you gotta kind of take a guess at first. Um, hello, hi. Wow, just, you're just pedestaling it up. Oh, jeez. Just an army of pedestals. It's like, you will now accept your fate. Alrighty. Come on, come on. Let me through, let me through. Uh, do I interact with that? Yeah, no, I'm gonna push in the pedestal. I think I need- I think each of these does a different configuration in the next room. Because they're for all the different cloister of trials that you had to face before. Yeah, they're gonna do that. And now I go over here, and we have bigger version! We have much bigger version. Okay, so that's red. And then this is red. And then this is white. Crap. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Not to worry. Not to worry. I'm just gonna mark them as I go. That one's also not right. I don't think there's a way. It's been a long time since I've done this, like, this Cloister of Trial, of course, because of things. But I don't think there's a way to know what you're, what you're doing before you do it. Uh, was that right? No, that's wrong. That's wrong. I already did that one. I touched that one. I'm an idiot. I think you just have to keep hitting them as you guess them. So this is going to be a lot of me jumping back and forth because honestly, this Cloister of Trials is pretty freaking dull. Uh, here? Nope. Okay. Screw you. So I think there is a slight discoloration on the tiles. It's like a little bit more gray than it is blue, giving a clue to what lights up. Like this should be, yeah, it should be the red thing. So I think I can guess the shapes from that. That must have been how I did it when I was younger. Um, but when they're really clustered like this one, um, it gets a little bit harder to tell and you have to take an initial stab in the dark. So I've got that. So yeah, that's how you normally you do it. Okay, I figured it out. It's not just a guessing game. I feel derpy, but it just, it didn't take me too long to get it, I guess. Uh, let's see. So I just gotta continue running around until I see them. Until I see which ones I need. So I've got to find the other pair of that. Oh god. Oh god. Red? Is this red? Yeah, I got it right. I got it right, boys. Uh, this one is a straight line. This one, ooh, this one's difficult. Um, I'm gonna say that one's, yep. Okay, good, perfect. We got it, I think. Oh, uh, wait, one more, one more. Uh, what do we need? We need the one, ooh, God, I almost stepped on that. Okay, so that's a square, right? This is a square, that's this other thing. Which one? Is it this one? Please don't make me redo it. Okay, good, we're good. We got the first one. Boom. Kind of having to take, take a look at it and kind of guess. They're, it's not that hard because um, they don't put too many near each other. So you can sort of reason out um, which shape applies to which uh, which pad. Uh, see a sphere, sha sphere shaped rhesus, like a rhesus cup. Oh, I probably need to get the destruction sphere. Um, or wait, do you have to come back a second time? I don't remember. I don't remember how this works. Uh, let's see. Oh, there are spheres up here. 
Oh, right. Let me just, let me mess around with these spheres real quick. A besaid sphere is inserted here. I cannot take it out. Okay. Maybe I have to do it afterwards. Maybe I have to do it afterwards. What about this one? Kilika? Oh, I can take the Kilika sphere. Remove Kilika sphere. Oh god, it's really dark. Or did I already push in the besaid one and that's why I can't do it? Because that would suck. That would suck if that was the case. Oh, I would be mad. I would be really mad. And there we go. That should knock out the last one. It's just, it's a lot easier now that I've identified a bunch of them. And that should knock out Data Boy. Data Boy. This is our new configuration. I'm going to go past all this because I've already shown how to do this and it's just extremely tedious. It's needlessly tedious, to be honest. Get it tedious because, because tedious? Because, okay. The, the joke wasn't funny. I'll see you when I'm about to beat this Cloister Trials. I'm just going to go right to the end. Unless something cool happens. Then I'll tune in. Bye-bye! Oh, I just inserted the Gilligan Sphere and that got me that one. Oh! That's what the two spheres are for. One is the Kilika Sphere, which you just kind of insert. And then the Besaid Sphere takes the screen offline. But then you go in here and just slap it on this one and it should fill in the last space. Okay. Didn't realize that. I was like, what in the world is just happening? I thought I was going to solve a puzzle. It's simple enough. Easy enough. And that should complete the Xanarkin Cloister of Trials. Yay! Huzzah! boo ba boo it's got nice little dulcet music tones. I don't know if dulcet was the correct word to use there, but I did it anyway. Alrighty, there we go. Ooh, fancy. Are we going to have magic portal or magic? Oh, hi. Oh, hello. Oh, God, it's all glitched. It's all glitchy. Normally, I would end an episode right here, but there's something else I'm going to do before we end the episode. By the way, apparently Xanarkin doesn't know how to stop everything glitching around whenever... Here we go. Whenever everything uh, just gets solved. But there is a boss fight here. It is the Spectral Keeper, I think? Something like that? I don't know. It's really cool, though. Like, look at this guy. Look at what does he think he is? And also, does he just reappear every time somebody defeats the Cloister of Trials? Like, do they do the Fireflies just re keep remaking him for each summoner team? I don't know. But there is a really cool, like, really, really neat mechanic here, and it's with trigger fans. You can move around to the different sigils on the ground that are floating. And you have to in order to, you know, not die a painful death. Um, like, I can move to... Can I move to the very far back one? Yeah. So let me move everybody all nice and spaced out. Just teleport over. And then Orin can go ahead... Why don't you... I don't have any sort of, uh... Sort of, um... Da -da 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 sensor on me, but that's okay. So, what are you doing, sir? Oh, he did... Oh, he does his little cut move. Okay, I'm gonna switch... That counts as a move, right, for Waka? I'm going to switch in Yuna. Um, Yuna, you're going to... I'm going to use Kirag on you. So his, like, cleave attacks two at a time, which is kind of rough. Tita needs to re-haste Yuna, though, which is okay. Because I wanted Waka hasted for when I have, like, chances to do damage, but I think Yuna might end up being a little bit better with the damage here. Berserk Tail. Oh, crap. I didn't put on Berserk Guard. So Tita is just going to keep whacking him, I think. I think he's just going to keep going at him. Of course, I forgot to change my weapon, but I always do that. So it's not like there's anything new there. Um, I'm going to do a power break on him, so hopefully that will reduce his damage. Nope, no breaks work. This guy's going to kick my ass. Ugh, oh, God, just straight up just savage. Okay, let me go ahead and use life on Titus. I think I, if I put a protect on my main hitters, that'll be okay. Um, Yeah, she's fast enough. I'm going to start slapping on protects. Like, protect on Titus, who is no longer hasted, but that's okay. Berserk Tail, crap! Okay, good, it didn't work. I'm also going to throw a protect onto Yuna. Because Yuna... Yuna doesn't have, like, super great defense. Oh, God, Titus. You know what, for now, Titus, switch out. We need to get everybody uh, into this rotation. Like, you, uh, Riku, use Mug. And Aether is not great. Is he counterattacking? Or was that just his turn? Huh, that was weird. Anyways, and then we'll bring in Kamari. Did, did I overdrive? Did I get anybody overdrive before this fight? It doesn't look like it. Okay, no, Riku. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. I guess, you know, you are on life duty, it looks like. Just pump all of your MP into dead people. That's okay. I just want to get through everyone's turns real quick. 
Um, okay, Glyph Mine. It's kind of hard to see, but there's one up front. You see that glowing thing? And then there's one here by Yuna. Um, that means Yuna needs to move or she's going to die. Because those Glyph Mines explode, and if anybody's on them, they do a lot of damage. Okay, so Lulu, you're going to come in, and I guess you're going to use this Bio work. He only has, he only has like 52 H, or 52,000 HP. And I'm getting major frame drops. What is with this? He is immune to bio. Okay, well, I see how this is gonna go. Finally, Yuna can drop the base on him. Just Faragra. Not very much damage, like 3k. He has high defense and high magical defense, which is going to make this kind of difficult. Okay. Kamari, I need you to switch in for Orin. Orin, I need you. Oh, he's gonna get a move. He's gonna get a move. Oh, it's gonna suck. I need you to do... Shooting Star. I believe that does more damage than Banishing Blade, though I could be mistaken. I, I think it's because Banishing Blade has the additional effect of knocking enemies out of battle, but I could be wrong. Three point something damage. I don't feel overpowered anymore. Bye, Lulu. I don't feel overpowered at all anymore. Don't berserk my Yuna. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Now Yuna's just gonna attack needlessly. Crap, 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 crap. That's not good. Don't cleave. Oh, Orin, please get a move, Orin. Or oh, Yuna. Yuna, I'll go it. Okay, this is going to be a wipe. This is going to be a wipe. I did not play this well. I didn't put Berserk Guard on anyone. Bye. This is Rip. And that, everybody, is... She's alive. That's surprising. I don't think Berserk just wears off, though. So, yeah, he, she's going to get hit. Right. So, I believe that's the first wipe of the game, guys. I did actually... I didn't expect to wipe here. Um, I didn't play it very smart. I didn't have, like, anybody's, like, best weapons equipped. Oh, boy. Oh, that went terribly. Oh, jeez, that was not... That did not... Okay, you know, we're gonna come back to this. We're gonna come back to this in the next episode, because... And I hate... I hate quitting on a loss like that, but I didn't expect it to go like that. But that's okay, that's okay. Has to happen. First wipe of the game. But... Anyways, this has been Final Fantasy X HD. You stop that intro music. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you, everybody, for watching. If you liked the video, please hit that like button. Bye-bye! Valian out! Oh, no! Why does why does Red have a... Oh, it's What? Friend, no. I need that half. Here, I want you to have my old fish and rod. I don't want Willie's rod. I don't want his old rod. I can't believe I failed them. I can't. Ugh, I feel so dumb. I was going on such a good track record, too. I was going so well.